Hi everybody, today is Saturday, May 9th. I'm here with Artie, enjoying some fresh air and some sunshine. I wanted to thank everybody for joining us yesterday for their for our live stream from the Horse Center. That was so fun to be able to talk to you guys. We're gonna do that again real soon. We also wanted to say hi to Jennifer. This is Artie's mom. And say, sorry Jennifer, we didn't see your comments yesterday. For some reason they didn't come through, but we wanted to show you, you Artie, <laughs> who is having, having some itches this morning. We hope everyone is doing really well and have a great weekend. <laughs> He's it up. <laughs> so Dakota's bucket is his, his purple, which is his favorite color. <laughs> Dakota needs a, um, a water bucket, even though he has an automatic waterer, because he filled his automatic water up with hay. <laughs> um, Good. That's how much. That's just from overnight. That's one day's worth. I cleaned it out yesterday. This is Miss Ariel, our resident sweetheart little pony. <laughs> and she is notorious for super dirty bucket. I cleaned them both out completely yesterday morning. And this is what we have in 24 hours. There's a technique here. Here. I'm also gonna scrub it out a little bit. Then shoot up a lot. This is one of the things I learned on this job. Okay. This bucket is really dirty, but I can't lift it. I mean, I can lift it, but it's tied. So rather than tie it, I'm going to dump it. This is this one. And today's my birthday. Happy birthday! Thank you. Aren't you lucky to be doing this on your birthday? <laughs> it's a great thing to do. I really actually really enjoy doing this. Um, I feel really good, you know, giving the horses clean water, cleaning out their buckets. Um, I also feel good just spending time with them in pretty intimate settings. Uh, I've only had one horse uh, walk out on me so far. That was Miss Trixie, and I just went and got her and put her back in the stall. So I know who's going to try to push the way out or walk out now. So the buckets are filled on twice a day. I would like to particularly thank Bev Jay for giving us this nice new, very long hose. That doesn't leak. <laughs> so, the tricky part is the apron part for me. I want to get it to get up here perfectly. Okay. Try to come up. I need a nap after this. Almost to the end. And before I start it, Turn the water off. <laughs> Voila! <Hey.
Are you falling? We also have a hay steamer if you come this way. The hay steamer is, that's exactly what it sounds like. It steams our hay, it gets a lot of the dust out of it and a lot of the allergens that some of our horses have. Or we do have some horses here that have some respiratory issues. So the steamed hay really helps them keep their diets intact as well as allows them to maintain good respiratory health. And Ellie here, it looks like you just steamed some hay for us. Can you talk a little bit about how you would set this up? Yeah, well, it's kind of like uh, playing Tetris, where you have to do like a whole thing of hay here and about a half thing of hay here, and then kind of put flakes and uh, on top of here, like on top. And, yeah. and about how long does it take to steam this much hay? I usually check it in 45 minutes. So like I'll fill it and then I'll go off to do something. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. feeding or helping out with whatever else needs to be done. And then I come back and I put it in. Yeah. And here's a nice tip for everybody at home. In the winter time, when this is shut and running, it's a great place to sit. Yes. <laughs> nice and warm. <laughs>